Hi guys, welcome back. We're watching Higeiro episode 6, no 7, we're watching 7. <laughs> and last week we basically saw an encounter with one of Sayu's old encounters, old acquaintances, old... Uh, one of the people she's, you know, been with in the past and she stayed over, yada yada yada. And then we met the kind of guy he was, he's a very trashy, um, disrespectful, undermined circumstances, doesn't take things very seriously kind of guy. Um, did we discover he was the trashiest of the trashiest? No, he's not. But he's very fucking trashy, regardless. Um, and basically we got a mini closure, it seems, for Sayu. It seems like she feels like... I don't know, I feel like she's grown in her person as well, and she's gotten a little bit of a closer from one of her previous partners. Um, of course, you know, Yoshida was pretty awesome as well, standing up for her as he did, and yada yada yada, as usual. And so, I don't know what's gonna go on in this week's episode. Also, the friend, the other co-worker at work, she's really cool as well, so I'm glad that, you know, Sayu has someone like that in her vicinity, that is a young girl as well, and I guess... Kind of someone, someone like Sayu should probably aspire to be, you know, so we don't know everything about her, she's probably not perfect, but it seems like she has a decent head on her shoulders and she seems like a pretty strong person, um, for the most part, so. Not sure what we're gonna get in this episode, but, you know what, let's just get into it. episode is called Yearning and we see Mishima on the cover. She is probably, in fact, yearning for Yoshida, so... <laughs> Come for it. Okay, I need to stop doing that. Like, literally need to stop. <laughs> oh, are they like people watching her? Like, they're looking for her? Cause she's a missing girl, right? <gasps> this could get Yoshida in trouble if they follow her to like where she lives. <gasps> I figured they'd be officially bringing that at some point. Is like going to a different school not enough? Like, I, don't, I still don't know what really went down. Like. Probably not. <laughs> oh, you should have gotten that a long time ago, sis. to watch all that play out <laughs> but you can't be getting mad at her okay okay what's it about though <laughs> bro i'm so down she want to know if she's serious about him Yeah, Goto was actually gonna make sure, like, not to say anything. <laughs> it's proper. <laughs> That's not what that means. Whether you try or not is what makes the difference if it naturally sways in your direction or not. Yeah. Don't force it, just have it, just try for it to like naturally flow. Well, yeah, you're supposed to do your best and do your thing. Seriously, you're mad loud, like, sis. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> He 
He told you how he felt about her. <laughs> Bro, no, see, hold on. Goto, Goto could date him as soon as she wants. So, I, I'm like, bruh. Goto, you can literally have him right after work today. I'm like, trying to understand, like, am I tripping? Like, she's the next time you ask me out, he's literally waiting for you to ask him out. <laughs> he already says I'm not into Sayu. Like, waiting for what? Like, girls, ladies, ladies, ladies. Why? I don't understand. He literally has a crush on you. He likes you so what? Y'all weird. <laughs> Just letting it life go by you. Like you can't you can't afterwards be like, oh he chose Sayu. That was just the way it was meant to be. It's like sis, you never did anything. What if you just wait? <laughs> See, like, I wouldn't have brought other girls into this. I would have just been like, why not? We're co-workers. Why not? <laughs> wow, you're the densest. <laughs> For real. <laughs> that is so sad. Okay, hold on, let me just say something. I still don't have the biggest problem with Mishima. I like her passion. Like, she seems like a chill girl. She seems like she could be a cool girl. When things go her way, or when she <laughs> understands them, I feel like, you know, she could be a chill person, really. Um, I guess I just don't relate. Like, I'm just so chill. <laughs> she's just, she's not chill enough for me. Like, I like how go how chill Goto is more as a person. I still feel like what she said is, like, nonsense. Like, what do you mean? You're just gonna let it be? Like, what? But aside from that, it's just, like, just, just chill. <laughs> We're chilling out here. <laughs> if she had to say that, you're so dense. <laughs> a little, anyway. That was cute as yeah, she could have respond. <laughs> this is like so weirdly cute. That's adorable. Bro, you're getting bitches, bro. I don't know why. That looks so <gasps> Bro, that looks so good. I've only had Katsudon once in my life and that was after the whole Yuri on Ice thing. I'm like, Dad, take me to <laughs> It was my birthday and I'm like we're going to a Japanese restaurant. <laughs> True. That is factual information. We constantly need to be winning over ourselves. That's kind of like what she was trying to say today. I've made a lot of choices to help Sayu. At least I thought I had, but... It doesn't matter! You do what you want and help somebody else too. That's a win-win. And we know he's not selfish. Like, he's not only thinking of himself. Like, it's just... Okay! Okay! Get off each other, please! Wait, is he- well, obviously he's embarrassed, right? Right? Um, duh, the rag. Oh, that's like, gross. That's very uncomfortable. <laughs> Thank you! I was about to be like, does he have secret stuff there? Please don't run out naked.
All this crap is yours and it's taking up space. If you don't need it, throw it out mom. <laughs> don't tell me there's an album in there. Graduation? I knew it. That's a vibe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Right, we saw this. That was his high school crush. Wait, can we go back for a second? There's, there's something I noticed. Okay, not that. Not that important. Oh, really? I noticed the mole. That's what I was talking about earlier that I noticed. And I'm like, oh, Goto has one too. So I was just like, maybe he has a thing for beauty marks. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I can understand someone being suffocating, but like to word it, like I didn't want, I don't want someone that wants me so much. <laughs> Just want me half. <laughs> I want you, I want you to want me like, like. 70% like what <laughs> I understand no matter who it is you don't necessarily want someone like clingy clingy that doesn't mean not like I don't want someone that wants me so much but obviously it's like not like every two seconds they're like wrapped around your arm trying to stick to you personal space and time to yourself is crucial So like, why do I feel like this moment was kind of important? Not about her feelings, just more about like, the whole smoking thing and the way he smiled after. I feel like there was something about him, about that scene, that was more important. Like, either how he does put others first, maybe he needed to smoke there because like, the topic, I don't know. Are they like, watching her because she's a runaway? Like, is it like someone she's been with in the past that's stalking her? Handsome! Oh, it's one of her past people! Oh my god! But see, I mean, I, I, so what's he gonna do? You know, get into the office. Like, you know? You know? Like, I, I know his character. Like, they really showed trashy sides to him, but he's definitely not the worst of the worst. Like, he has, he has a conscience. That's the word I said. He has, like, a... A bit of a conscience to a degree, like he's not like the. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Proper. Like he doesn't not care about the situation. What? That's your brother? Oh, gee. Okay. Yeah, see, I, I knew, like, they were looking for her then. Yo, then they're gonna follow you home. You don't like guys like that? Like, what? Explain. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, child. Let me have a little discussion with you, homeboy. Are you not the same person that used your physical power to pin the girl down in the house? Nah, huh? See, see, you had the power when you owned the apartment and you knew. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, it's okay. I know <laughs> I've explained this character before. I get him. But what? What? But you know what? Nah, I, I feel him still. This line, I get it. I get it. People with power, power, like power, power. Not just the upper hand, but like power, power. Like, you can tell he's like the, the F the Popo type of person. <laughs> or like, you know, you know, those those rich people. Like. He doesn't even know who he is. Yet. But that's her brother. Right? But now you're like... If he's following you, it's like... That's not how it is. Interesting, so I wonder if we're gonna see a clash of like the brother and Yoshida. That'll be like an interesting encounter, I guess. 
I feel like Yoshida would still stand up for her, but maybe he'll get like permission in a way to have her stay with him this time somehow. All right, so for some reason, I don't feel like I have anything I want to touch up on really in this little outro segment um, to review it. I feel like I've pretty much said all of my thoughts throughout. I spoke about Mishima, I spoke about Goto, I spoke about, you know, the co-worker here. I'm sure it's it's hard to wrap your head around the type of guy he is, but I hope a lot of you guys do understand. Like, the reasons why is because, the reasons why I'm like constantly, why I'm so um, intent on expressing to you guys the kind of character he is, is because I feel like he's the character in the show that can easily create this, like, this confusion in terms of how to respond to him, whether to dislike, be angry, or like him as a character. And I think it's just more than that. It's more than just black and white. I hate or like this guy. That's why I keep touching up on him as a character. So the brother's coming around. As I said, this is going to really complicate things. But I feel like in the end, you know, Yoshida's going to be okay or else the show would end early. So I feel like what it's going to be more like is that you know, the brother is, I don't know what the brother is like to Sayu, if he's actually a caring older brother, and she's mostly shaking because she's like, oh my god, I don't want to go back home. But maybe the brother is actually not bad, and he's actually going to end up looking at the situation and thinking, you know what, I'll tell them I didn't find her. Or I'll vouch for her to stay away longer with this random guy. Like, I don't know, I just feel like there's going to be some type of acceptance of the situation, though, um, on uh, the brother's part, and then they'll leave her alone for a bit longer. Or this could be the point that really brings everything to a close, uh, which I still doubt because it's still pretty early. Yeah, I don't have much else to say. Pretty much touched up on everything throughout the episode, I think. So I'll end the video here. Thanks all for watching. Leave how you feel, thoughts down below, no spoilers. And I'll see y'all again in my next video. So thank you and bye.